Uh, so here's the current situation. I have kitchen vinyl floors and as they end, we go into the deck. I don't like that decking material. The landlord kind of chippened out on that one. So we want to cover that up because we have a beautiful view of the trees and of the sunset over here in Hawaii. So let's see how we can make it better. All right, so for this one, I decided to go with acacia tree. Look at that beautiful wood. It sits on this plastic, which is about half an inch off the ground. That way you don't really have any mold or anything, you know, building up on the bottom, kind of like if I put a carpet or something instead. They say it's one foot by one foot. Let's measure it. It's actually 11 and 3 fourths, 11 and 3 fourths. First of all, again, beautiful wood. Look how easy it is to put them together. So you have these holes on one side and then depending on how you want to do it, you can actually just simply go ahead and put them like that. And we're going to have an extended piece. Let me show you how it's going to end up looking later. All right, so here's the final result. The plastic underneath the tile actually is really handy because it elevates the tile from all that moisture and the dirt and at the same time act as this Lego that can scale and descale as you wish. Since it is on Amazon, you can just purchase a small batch first and as you like it, as you have more financing, you can always purchase more. Also pay attention to the amount of slats in your block tile that you have because they're 6 and 12, you probably want to stay consistent with that. And at the end, I just really want I give a big shout out to the owner, to the company itself. They're so responsive. They're amazing people. This is a small business that's working really hard through the snow, through the heat. It's very responsive. I personally am really happy with the result and I am looking forward to scaling up even further.